Well, and you both were both uh, in Hex in the early days. We were yeah. all here watching everything that was going on. I had my part to play in the early days of Hex, hence today's title. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we're just, we're just j having a good time here, right? Everybody's just like, I think in a new chain, right, it's completely different, right? We mm. got, like, the timing of the last cycle was at the end of 2019. We're at the end of 2023. Oh, wait, no, not yet, right? No. <laughs> so, like, essentially, I would say the end of this year, if we were to actually have launched Pulse Chain at the end of this year, that might be similar to 2019, right? But, you know, uh, we launched it earlier. So that's going to have a different market effect as well. And I think going into the second half of this year, basically, we have what we got going there is potentially a recession, Yep. right? That is going to probably give people... You know, a little bit of weak hands, lettuce hands out there, and they're going to essentially potentially sell a bit. So I think between now and this time next year is really the time to be dollar cost averaging into the market because we know once the Bitcoin halving comes around, things pop off. So really, I think um, we're almost at a better advantageous point right now than we were in the early days of Hex because, right, we have first hindsight is 2020, right? We can see what happened before. And then also we have a brand new, you know, year the best year to accumulate which is 2023 instead of 2019 next best year will be 2027 so you know if you just follow history you're right we're basically going to regret not buying more and right. uh you know it might sound like uh the wolf of wall street a little bit but um what, what are your thoughts maddie based on kind of your history with hex and what you've seen out here yeah well i mean even just looking at the ethereum chart and seeing what it could do you know, it took a while to get warmed up. They yeah. also had like a one year sacrifice period between when they accepted people putting Bitcoin in and when they actually sent people their Ethereum tokens. Mm. Then you saw Ethereum crashed. Well, did it crash? I guess it depends what, what rate you say you got for it, but it was trading on Kraken for 14 cents. Mm. And then eventually it got up to $1,400 per token. And that was what, the first cycle? For ethereum or the second cycle so um these things can go way higher than you think they can they can go way lower than than you think they can and that's why i like you know what you guys do when it comes to i mean pretty much being the the, the biggest um education course in crypto yeah. in the world um that's ongoing and you guys are teaching people the the principles of controlling your emotions yep. of being informed doing your own research and dollar cost averaging. 